Welcome back to Marketing Monday. My name is Tom Story. I'm a creator here at BAM. And on today's video, I'm gonna give you four steps that you can take to improve your listing presentation. I am super passionate about this topic. Everything that we do in our days as a real estate agent leads up to this moment. Everything you learn at the conferences, everything you learn from being a part of BAM X, you gotta implement it and then it gets you that opportunity where you're sitting across the table from someone that's thinking of selling their property. So what I'm going to teach you today and share my experience as someone that will go on probably 85 listing appointments a year. You know, I'll list probably 70 to 75 properties a year as well. We have a pretty high conversion. We're over 90% on our listing appointments. I'm going to show you exactly the formula that I take and how I will walk a seller from beginning to end with four simple steps. If you're finding value out of these continuing education videos, all I ask is you give this video a big fat thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. So first of all, let's talk about the questions that sellers actually care about. What I've learned over the years is that whether I have a three hour conversation with a seller or a 20 minute conversation with a the seller, they essentially only need five questions answered to make their decision on if they want to hire me or not. So that's exactly how I go through my presentation. So here's the different segments that I think you should make sure the answers are in your presentation. Number one should be, well, why should they hire you? Now, this is the point of the presentation that you talk about you versus the market, the average agent versus you, what you guys are doing on your team versus everybody else and show graphs, right? Never tell them what you can show them. Number two is what is currently happening in the market. This is where you're literally going to take out a pen, the market data and go through it with them to show you what is happening. And in a second here, I'll show you how you can really, really show your value on this segment of the presentation. Number three is what's your marketing plan going to be for their property on MLS, off MLS, exclusive, whatever type of marketing that you do in your market, you're going to explain it here. Number four is what is the property worth? I think we all know that that's an important question to answer. And number five is what is your fee for service? How much does this cost? Because at the end of the day, those are the five things a seller wants to know. Why should I hire you? What the heck's happening in the market right now? What are you going to do to market my property? What's my property worth? And how much do you charge? So that's the order in which I believe your presentation should flow, specifically in that order from one to five. Now, the second tweak I want you to make to your listing presentation goes back to number two on that is what is happening in the market right now. Now, this gives you an opportunity as a real estate agent to create the value gap. A lot of homeowners believe that they know what is going on in the market as much as you do. Some believe that they know it even more than you do, but we know that's not the case. So here's how you create the value gap. You ask them a question that they probably can't Google. And I'll give you an example. So in the point of my presentation, when I'm talking about what's happening in the market, in the micro market, specifically for their property type and their location, I ask them a very simple question. I say, I'm just curious, have you ever heard of the term months of inventory? And they go silent and they think about it and they're like, uh, no, I may, maybe I've heard it before, but could you explain it to me? This now gives me the opportunity as the professional at the table, as the knowledge broker to show them what is happening because they can't just Google that and figure it out and know exactly what's going on. And they need to know these numbers. This is what percentage of homes are actually selling. What's the average list to sale price? How many active listings are there divided by how many sales, which shows them what type of market they're currently in. So if you don't ask them these type of questions, they're not going to know that you know more than them, right? You have to show them that you are the professional at the table. You are tracking the market. And I'm not talking about macro numbers here, right? I'm really saying break it down specifically to their community for their property type. Show them what's happened in the last 30 days. Or if there hasn't been a lot of sales, use maybe a three month average. Do you know what the term months of inventory means? In my career, I've only ever had one person say yes. Everyone else doesn't know and I get an opportunity to show my value. The real estate industry can be very lonely. If you're anything like me, you're experiencing that right now in your business. And it wasn't until I found a community that I really helped myself grow. So if you're looking to find a community where you can grow and actually most importantly, sell more homes and build your brand, BAMX is the place to do it. Now BAMX has the best live streams, has the best webinars, has the best community, has the best courses, got the best of everything in this industry and you can get to be a part of it for a fraction of what it costs to be in other programs for legacy real estate companies. 
it's intentional that BAM costs less and we're bringing more value to the table than everybody else because we believe that legacy real estate media is broken and we're here to fix it. So if you want to join the fun, you want to join the community, I've got a code for you. Code STORY23, S-T-O-R-E-Y 23, will get you 10% off the annual subscription. Come join the fun. Come hang out. Come build a community of people that are looking to grow and expand their business. And most importantly, more than anything else, looking to sell more homes. I hope to see you on the inside. The third thing I want to discuss in today's video is something that I think a lot of real estate agents kind of gloss over. And this is the marketing of the property. Okay. Photos, virtual tour, floor plan, and videos, right? We all say we do these things. And if we're good at our job, we probably do these on a professional level and it costs us a lot of money. And at the end of it, it's like, yeah, this all looks pretty good. But I wanna give you a little tweak when you're talking specifically about the photos, how you can stand out, especially if they're interviewing other agents. So when you get to the point of your presentation where you're talking about the photography and how you market properties, I want you to say something along these lines. So what I've learned over the years is there's three types of real estate photography. There's crappy iPhone photos, which obviously we don't want. Then there's professional photos. And then there's magazine worthy photos. So an example for me here in my market is I will actually show them a photo of my listings. I'll say, hey, out of curiosity, do you notice anything different about these photos? And they'll take a look and they're like, no, you know what? I don't really notice anything different. And what's interesting is this now gives me the opportunity to explain the difference to them because every other real estate agent can say, I do professional photos. Guess what? I do magazine worthy photos. So changing your wording is important and it's the truth. So for me, a really easy way to show this is professional photography is someone that comes in with their tripod, they set it up, they hit all their angles, they're in and out, they turn on all the lights and they can shoot this house in like 35 minutes. Guess what? My guy, he comes into your property he turns off all the lights. He lights every single shot that he takes. He takes a little bit longer. It takes him one extra day to get the photos back. But I could put any listing that I put on the market into a magazine and no one would blink an eye. And especially in a market that potentially is building inventory and you have more competition, you have to look the absolute best. So just change your wording. You don't do professional photos. You do magazine worthy photos. And in my opinion, I may have left the most valuable to the end of this video. This is something that I implemented three years ago. I would highly recommend it. And it's offering three different commission packages, right? If you've ever bought software online, there's like the free version, there's the middle version, and then there's the expensive version. And probably 80% of people buy the middle version because it kind of gives them what they need. It's not that expensive, but there's a way more expensive version as well. So I have three different commissions and my lowest commission is the standard commission in my market. I don't have a cheap option. I have regular, a bit more expensive and super high end. So for me, I have my smart marketing, which is my 5% package in my market. Then I have my staging package, which is 5.5%. And then we have our all inclusive package, which is 6%. Nobody has ever taken the all inclusive package because they don't need it, but at least I'm giving them an option. I think that's just what consumers want, right? And I can go through exactly the, you know, the wording you need to use in another video of how to get what you're worth for your commission. But I think if you give people options and you have to show them as well visually, and I'll share my listing presentation with anybody that wants it, you have to show them what is the commission that you are charging as the agent that is representing them? And what is the commission that you are offering to the agent that is bringing you a buyer? Don't clump them together. Show it differently in your presentation. So there you go. Those are four tweaks you can make to your listing presentation. If you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video, please let me know in the comments below. I'll hang out there and answer everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Tom Story, and I'll see you next week.